Last weekend, we visited Chateau de la Motte Chandinier for its Easter celebration. We went for the egg hunt, but we were instantly enthralled by the mystery and intrigue of this place. The chateau has experienced glory and neglect, restoration and horrific fire. Nature has taken hold after nearly a century of neglect, yet the chateau is still standing. The fortune of this building took a turn for the better in 2018 where D'Artagnan's, a French crowdfunding and preservation company, purchased the castle. We're going to show you around this breathtaking chateau and delve into its history. Plus, if you've always wanted to be a Chatelaine, now is your chance. Along with thousands of others around the world, you too can be a shareholder of this magnificent chateau. Now the children are slightly older, I thought they'd enjoy going on an Easter egg hunt. La Motte Chandonier was somewhere I had bookmarked as wanting to visit for ages. Just the photos on the internet were enough to have me completely intrigued, and as luck would have it, they had an Easter egg hunt too. The chateau is in the Vienne department, just outside Trois Moutières and about 200 miles southwest of Paris. After 86 years of neglect, nature has started to take over the building. Trees can be seen growing in and out of the windows and wild woodland flowers surround the castle. It's a mesmerizing sight, nature reclaiming what is hers. I found the chateau instantly intriguing as the building, or what's left of it, is such a mishmash of styles. The earliest parts date back to the 13th century. This medieval architecture is most notably seen on the southern facade of the building. In 1809, the chateau was bought by Francois Encar, who restored the building after it was ransacked during the French Revolution. It is believed, however, that most of his work was kept in keeping with the original medieval style. It was passed down through the family, and in 1870, Baron Edgard Lejeune undertook serious renovation work in the Romantic style. This Venetian architecture can be seen most closely on the eastern facade of the chateau. The Baron enjoyed many lavish parties, and this was probably the chateau's most glamorous period. In 1932, a fire ravaged the building, destroying rare books, tapestries and antique furniture. Firefighters battled against the flames, but could only save the chapel, outbuildings and a pigeon tower. As if that wasn't enough drama for one building, the chateau was taken twice by the English in the Middle Ages. In fact, some of the architecture is much more typical of castles in the UK than it is of chateaus in the Loire. Originally there was a chapel situated inside the chateau, but in around 1867 the owners built a separate gothic style chapel in the grounds. Fortunately the chapel survived the fire and the stained glass windows remain perfectly preserved. The chateau was the perfect size for our family, as it's not a vast, sprawling estate. It's easy for young children to walk around, and all the paths are suitable for prams or wheelchairs too. Handy, as on our first walk round, we managed to miss half of the eggs. As part of the regeneration programme, the owners hold events throughout the year. I would love to go to an evening event in the summer, as I imagine the chateau would look spectacular lit up at night. I mentioned to Brooke what a fantastic wedding venue it would make, and sure enough, they are available for weddings and events. Thanks to D'Artagnans and the community of co-owners, Le Motte Chandinier has been open to the public since 2019. In 2021, the event space was opened and the plan for the near future is to open four eco-lodges in the grounds. The aim of this project is to consolidate the ruins while also preserving the magic that nature has created in this very unique space. 
If you would like to become a co-owner and shareholder and have a say in this remarkable project, then click the link in the description. I'd like to add that we have not been paid for or approached by D'Artagnans for this video. We've just done this because we wanted to share the story with you. We'll see you again next week for another video. Bye.